In data mining, association rule learning is popular and well-researched method for discovering interesting relations between the variable and large database. It is a unsupervised learning method. Remember that. It is intended to identify strong rules discovered in database using different measures of interest. The rule found in the sale data of a supermarket would indicate that if a customer buys onion and potatoes together or not. He or she is likely to also buy hamburger meat. Like that's that's what the association help us. And based on this analysis, like things can be put together or nearby. Such information can be used as the basis of decision about making activities such as example, example promotional pricing or product placement. And uh, there's one more aspect of association rule. Association rule tells you that which two or more products are more closely related. Okay. But you know, in, we are using association rule in uh, finding the frauds where we know I am using this technique in a uh, opposite way. I am trying to figure out within the disease that which are the uh, disease could lead to uh, or which are the disease codes have the more association. I mean which are two or three disease codes could lead you to the other disease code, higher disease code, right? But if I got to know that some disease codes have less association or very less association, I mean they must be a path and some of the doctors are building these two codes together so where the alarms situation comes and we thought that that definitely there must be some and if the frequency is more definitely there there must be some fraudulent activity is happening so association analysis helps you in both the ways it gives you the association or the liking grouping between two values and also if two things are not re really correlated they also uh, explain you many things because I told you decision what what decision you need to take it depends on your understanding right yeah Binya it's very interesting uh, like working on these concepts has really uh, you know, reveal many of the things the rule found in the sale data of a supermarket would indicate that if customer buys on it oh I I covered that. Such information can be used as the basis for decision about marketing activities such as promotional pricing or product placements. Okay. So let's say we have a transaction ID. Transaction ID one means like it is uh, like uh, it is a bill of person A buys these four items citrus fruit, semi-finished bread, margarine, ready soups and two I, transaction ID 2 has three items like three, these three items bought together by other person similarly in third transaction only whole milk is bought like the one person bought on the whole make in the four transaction let's say these this is the transaction ID of a day or or a month maybe so that's that's something your input data is okay that is something but before uh, the, working on that look look here like rules equals to a priori pattern parameter list support and confidence what is the support and confidence and lift so you know, be uh, very attentive here it's very important concept until unless you don't know about the support confidence and lift you cannot take any decision even you cannot read the association rules so like the association analysis would be in something like in this way hard cheese and whole make has support 0.01 like 10 percent it has a confidence of 0 0.4107 so approximately 41 percent lift is 1.60 percent important is what is the support confidence lift reveals what does that mean do we need to understand what is that or uh, like they're not very much important so 
it's it's very much important to understand that what is support confidence and lift look at here can you see that this one okay support is equals to proportion of transaction in the data set which contains the interest actually it is what it is the probability of item a out of the total data set you got my point like let's say for example we are talking about the rule number 97 in rule number 97 is saying that slight cheese and whole milk so whenever slight cheese is bought whole milk also bought with support 0.01 percent confidence is 43 percent and lift is 1.72 percent what does that 0.01 support mean support is for all always for LHS side that means out of the total data data values side cheese is bought only one percent of time you got my point look at that support is what proportion of transaction in the data set which contains the interest so let's say there were 10,000 items bought in a 10,000 different items bought in a day or in a month so let's say this data is for a month so out of those 10,000 times the identical item bought in different transaction in a month only 1% so 1% is around 100 100 items were slight cheese are you clear with that support is what support is always for LHS look at the LHS side right second is confidence confidence is always look for the RHS side so this RHS if you look at the confidence 0.43 percent so now how we would read it like you look at slide cheese and whole milk we know that slide whenever the slide cheese is bought whole milk also bought but slide cheese is bought only one percent of time that means out of 10,000 different items slide cheese is bought only hundred times and out of those hundred times 43 percent of time whole milk is also bought like 43 times slide cheese and whole milk bought together confidence is for whole milk when it bought together with slide cheese now look at this confidence how this confidence is calculated the confidence of a rule is equal to supply of x union y divided by supply of x that means probability of x and y bought together divided by probability of x the confidence is that actually it is the probability it calculated in this way okay right so look at that in if you look at row number 101 how this confidence is uh, gathered probability of buying onion and other vegetable together divide by the probability of buying onion okay and what is 102 other vegetable and onion together divided by the probability of other vegetables so in in this case like support of the denominator case is equal right the denominator the numerator is 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 this is the same okay numerator is the same but the denominator is change okay you spend a little time over that will come and come with you will clear it when we move on with more examples of of that kind because it is uh, the support and uh, confidence is always uh, is, is a probability value so whenever you see a support and confidence it would never be more than one on less than zero it will be value between zero to one because it's a probability value right so whenever you see a support support is always and confidence is always between value zero to one because they are probability actually they are calculated through probability okay
Now look at that constraint below measure are used to select useful and best rules of all the rules given by R. After analyzing these value for all the rules, best rules value of have been obtained. Lift is what? Lift of x to y is what? Support of x and y, x and y bought together, divided by support of x into support of y. So that is the lift. Okay? So what I can say, lift is something, confidence divided by support of y. I can say that in this way as well. Confidence something what? How the confidence calculated mathematically? Support of x and y divided by support of x. How the lift is calculated? Support of x and y divided by support of x multiplied by support of y. Or even I can say in this way that lift is equals to confidence of x and y divided by support of y. Right? So just, you know, spend a little time over it. Support is number of transition involving both Jack and Ripper and Strawberry Blonde. Like X is the Jack the Ripper and Y is the Strawberry Blonde. So support X and Y is what? So number of transition involving both Jack and Ripper and Strawberry Blonde divided by total number of transition. That what I explain you. Confidence is number of transition where Strawberry Blonde was also bought when Jack the Rippers was bought, divided by number of action where the where Jack the Rippers was bought. So that is confidence. Ratio is little tricky. You need to spend a little time over it. Lift is something ratio of observed support to the expected support. It would be little, um, little complicated con concept. You need to spend a time over learning support and confidence but lift I can tell you lift is confidence of X and Y divided by support of Y like lift is something between X and Y is X is LHS part and Y is the RHS part so lift of X to Y is what confidence of X to Y divided by support of Y the number of transaction the Y was there. So let's understand through this example. So look at row number 97. Lift is 1.721356.0. Okay. So lift of slight cheese to whole milk is 1.72. It means what? Confidence divided by support of whole milk. And how many times the whole milk is bought? Let me do a simple calculation. Three point four three nine eight three four zero two. Three nine eight three four zero two. Divided by zero point zero one one. Two eight six two two. Two eight six. Wait a minute. There's a. Right. Sorry. There's a little messed up here. It is good to have a high lift value. So, you know, look at the lift again. It is a probability concept so that might be a little messed up or a little complicated to understand. So, lift of, of a rule, lift of x to y is what? Support of x to y divided by support of x. That is exactly the confidence multiplied by the support of y. So what I can say lift is equals to confidence divided by support of y. And what we, how we read confidence? Confidence something. 
so confidence something whenever the slight cheese and slight cheese is bought how many times the milk is bought okay divided by the total number of times the whole milk is bought okay so high left is good but ratio of observed support to the expect expected support so it is the ratio uh, high ratio is good like uh, if you if you look at the definition left ratio of observed support to the expected support if observed support is more than the expected support that means ratio is greater than 1 okay when there whenever there is observed support is more than the expected support that means it is revealing some other phenomena yeah lakshmi even i think so let me come to the real example there's 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 some problem so let me come to that but first let me explain you left then i will probably come to the data with the r then we'll discuss that because once i calculate there might seem some problem anyways look at the left left is what ratio of observed support to the expected support that means the observed support between these two phenomena is more than the expected so sometimes what happens when left is high between two values so it reveals something extra that means we do not assume that these should by our general understanding or by our business domain knowledge we have not even thought or uh, think uh, even thought that these two items should be sold together or these two items have some association but still the people find it you know whenever the it comes to buying people buy it more it's something like that you know if you see a high association between milk and beer bottles you got my point so what our understanding says about the association between milk and beer bottle these two should not be bought together right but if you see a high lift that means there is a more support than the expected support you got my point so if you see a milk bottle and beer bottle in a data you would see that generally there would be a high lift i am not i am not saying that every data have this trend but if if whenever you see a trend for them 